So I had a few people ask me if they could, if I could show them how to uh, refill this guy right here, and I figured why not make a video right quick. All right, so the first thing that you need to know is that these are reverse threaded, threaded. so rather than being lefty loosey righty tighty, it's righty loosey lefty tighty, and um, the cap will also be on pretty tight generally. So you might need to get like a pair of pliers or something to turn to get it off, but other than that you just unscrew it simple as this and it'll come out like that then you get whatever you want to refill refill it with generally I just use regular old whiteout from the store like the Bic whiteout that goes in the Bic whiteout pen makes sense right because that stuff is actually pretty permanent and you just uh, get that top off and uh, pour it on it and I need to grab the the white out out of my pocket first before I can uh, pour it in. Just good old fashioned extra coverage big white out. Righty loosey, lefty tidy. And you just fill her on up. Generally, I put a little bit of, of acetone or something along those lines to thin it out a little bit. But it's usually all right. Cause you don't want it to clog up, but it'll be fine. And you also want to make sure that you leave a good little bit in the top for some air. You don't want to fill it up all the way because you want to be able to have some air in there just to make sure it doesn't overfill when you put the lid on and stuff like that. And there needs to be a, a little bit of room to move around the, for the ball to move around and whatnot and that's about it you just tighten it back on lefty tighty righty loosey and there you go let's go catch some tags with this bad boy now since I had the white out thingy out I had to catch a tag with it because I actually really enjoy it catching tags with these little white out thingies I have no clue why but I really just do it's like a challenge or something that I enjoy the challenge of it is what I enjoy mostly to the year. And the final step of course is to actually go out and use the mother. So you really don't have to use whiteout. You can use pretty much anything that you would use in a regular mop. I just like using the whiteout because I know it'll work. It's permanent and it's easy to get but these can uh pretty much handle whatever you throw at them for the most part as long as it's not too thick and even in that case you can just thin it down And there you go. 
That's that. There you go. Hills to the yeah. This garbage can feels really smooth for some reason. It's like overly smooth. That's very odd. Huh, very interesting. Very, very interesting. By the way, what do you think of the new nail color? I wrote Gerb on it. See? Gerb. I thought that was funny. What do y'all think of that? I thought it was funny, but it's not gonna last very long. It'll come off in a few hours probably, but what are you going to do? Something that ha people in Seattle do a lot, writers in Seattle do a lot that you don't see around other places, is catch tags on other people's garbage cans. You don't see that a lot in other cities. But in Seattle, it flies because the people don't actually own those garbage cans. They actually rent them from the city. They have to pay like a monthly fee. And when, when they move away, they have to send it back to the city. So people don't feel bad about tagging them because they're not like private property, I guess. They're actually owned by the city utilities or whatever. So... Something that Seattle is, uh, people in Seattle catch tags on that maybe you don't catch tags on in your own city. It's funny how that works. Every little city has their own little culture of what's okay and not okay to write on. Works great. Easy to refill, reusable, and writes on just about anything. Can't go wrong with a whiteout pen. Gonna go ahead and pull out the Sharpie again, because I actually really am liking this. And it's lasting really well, lasting long. But apparently it don't do too well on wet surfaces, but according to that, it says marks on wet surfaces, but that's a wet surface and it doesn't seem to be marking very well, so huh, interesting. Well, what are you going to do? Can't win them all. 
But what happened to truth in advertising? I remember when. What you said, what the product said it was going to do is actually what the product did. It did a little bit better on that, but still pretty shit. So, that's a little bit disappointing. I've been doing the two tone tags a lot more since that video. Really starting to like those a lot. I think they're pretty sick.